What are some of the best ways to help with the trauma and hurt of people coming out of cults from your experience? Welcome, this is People of the Free Gift, where we ground believers in their identity in Christ and equip them to reach those caught in religion. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content related to cults and how to share the gospel with them. And so I'm going to share with you, that was a question that was posed to me by one of my uh, subscribers, and I, I went to a few different articles to take a look at some of the different factors and things that people suffer from when they leave cults and some of the advice that has to go with them. The best article that I found on the topic was Recovering from Cold Experiences, How to Recognize and Resolve After Effects. And so I just want to highlight some of the things and they have this great chart that I'm gonna to just touch on at the end that has to do with major areas of post-cult adjustment and how to, um, some tips on how to deal with that. And so, there's five major areas of post-cold adjustment, and those are practical, psychological, emotional, cognitive, social, personal, and philosophical, attitudinal. And the best advice he says is learn to take things on a little at a time. Not every issue or after effect is going to be resolved at the same time. And perhaps you make a list of the things that trouble you the most, prioritize it, and work on things systematically. If you reach a block, go back to your list and pick out some other areas to work on. Engage in and healthy and trusting relationships after such a traumatic and invasive experience as you have endured is one of life's big challenges afterwards. But it's important to take on this challenge eventually so that you can create a solid and trustworthy social network around you. Establish a support system for yourself. Choose your friends wisely. Don't associate with people who bring you down. If you're having trouble sleeping, remember the old remedies. Drink some more milk, play soft music, go outside and get cold, and then jump back in bed. That should activate your parasympathetic nervous system and slow your heart rate so that you will fall asleep. Also, you may want to seek out an ethical cognitive therapist. No tricks, no gimmicks, no new age nonsense, just good old talk therapy. And there are some good medications available now for anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. And so dealing with the practical, here's some things that he suggests. Make living arrangements. Arrange financial support. Arrange your medical and dental care. These are things that they both struggle in and things that we could be helping them with. Um, just being aware that they're going to struggle with them. Okay. Examine nutrition and eating habits. Get psychological examination if needed. Make career and education plans. Get vocational counseling if needed. Explain the years in the cult and abusive situation. Structure your daily life. Cope with difficulties created by distrust of professional services, medical, dental, mental health professionals, and educators. So under the psychological, emotional, that they feel depressed, they have feelings of loss, they have feelings of guilt and regret, they lack self-esteem, self-confidence, exhibit self-blaming attitudes and excessive doubts, they have panic attacks, they experience relationship, relax, relaxation induced anxiety and tics, separation from family and friends, they exhibit fear of the group and others in general, especially authority figures. They feel generalized paranoia and fear of the world. They're overly dependent for age, submissive, suggestible. They have worries over realness of past lives, must sort out true past from one engendered by the cult or institution. They're hypersensitive to sound or touch. Cognitive, they experience indecisiveness, experience blurring of mental acuity, have difficulty concentrating, they have memory loss, they cannot recall what just read or heard, must stop using group language or lingo, they have sense in losing track of time, experience floating and slipping into altered states, they have poor and unreliable sense of judgment, they hear what others say uncritically and passively, 
or they may be hypercritical. They have recurring bizarre mental content from the experience, for example, waking dreams, fog light states. Under social, personal, they have pervasive sense of alienation. They need to reconnect with family and friends. They need to make new friends. They distrust own ability to make good choices. They have phobic like constriction of social context, mistrust, distrust, others. They feel loneliness. They're confused about sexuality and sexual identity and roles. They face dealing with marital, family, parental, and child custody issues. They fear make, making a commitment to another person. They feel unable to make and express opinions. They overextend themselves to make up for lost time as unable to say no. They have sense of being washed all the time, which is called the fishbowl effect. As they're embarrassed and uncertain of how or when to tell others about the experience, and they fear rejection. And philosophical and attitudinal, it says they have hypercritical attitude toward others in society. They need to overcome aversions ingrained by the cold and institution. They have condemning attitude toward normal human foibles and are harsh toward self and others. They still judge by the cult or institutional standards. They lack satisfaction with the world and self. They feel emptiness at no longer being a world saver or on mission. If they are unable to be kind to or supportive of others. They are fear of joining any group or being active. They feel loss of sense of being part of an elite group. They need to reactivate their own belief system and their own moral code of values and sort out from ones adopted in the cult and institution. So in other words, what's the best way to help people who have been traumatized by a high demand or cult group and not simply be there for them and be there for them and expect that they're not going to be able to just function in normal ways that you would just take for granted as somebody who has not had the experience that they've experienced and doing just simple errands and helping them to do it and teaching them, reteaching them, reorienting them to the world. And that's, not model, that's not holding their hand. That's not enabling. That's helping. And I, being able to speak very directly, especially if you are a Christian leader or somebody who is trying to explain truth to them, that sometimes you're going to have to be blunt. Sometimes you're going to have to be a little bit harsh that's not unloving. It's being able to shake them out of a reality that, you know, it's being able to define terms and teach terms correctly because they often will still have the definitions from their previous group. They'll still have the belief system from the previous group, even if they don't want to. And so I hope that helps. And so if you were a part of this group, um, a group like this, let us know what would be the most helpful, what would have been the most helpful for you? Looking back at your experience, or maybe if you're going through it now, what would be the most helpful for you so that we can dig a little bit deeper? I would love to hear your insights and I would love to hear your questions that I can uh, focus on in future videos if that's what you guys want. And so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, give us a thumbs up on the content for today if you liked it and share this video with others who are interested in cults and how to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. And I, I, I don't know what tomorrow's topic is going to be as I reach the end of the ones I prepared for today, but I have a lot of questions and answers from you guys, but I would love to have more. So put those in the comments down below. Let me know what kind of topics and questions and videos that you would like to see. And until next time, may God's grace be with you.